Hi vlog. I'm with Megan. I'm actually starting off the vlog right now because oh. I was supposed to start in the car but I forgot. But me and Megan are playing pickleball this morning, but we arrived to the pickleball court and it was just the worst. <laughs> There was like every everyone in Los Angeles came to play pickleball, but I thought there would be nobody if we came in the morning But they're like all serious pickleball really players. good. Yeah, they're like in a league And then the lady looked at us and goes, oh, you're looking for the beginner court <laughs> Yeah, we were but like she didn't have to call us out and then it was just like a lot It was kind of intimidating honestly, and then she saw us walk away and she said I better see you guys next time Which is not gonna happen So if you are not good at pickleball do not come to Olympic Park. What is this? Olympic Park? Recre Olympic, Olympic something. Park. Yeah, in Santa, Santa Monica. Monica pickleball court. Yeah, don't come here unless you're really good at pickleball. And it's my worst nightmare when people ask to play doubles. Like when we haven't even played ourselves yet. Like I just want to play. We're just trying to like have fun. We're just trying to have fun. We're just trying to have a good morning vibe and okay. then get a smoothie after. I'm going to call my other friend and see if she knows. But we're trying to find a new pickleball court now. We might go to the Palisades mm -hmm. to be closer to the beach because that's what I initially wanted because I play pickleball closer to my house but it's just like literally right next to a freeway. Would and have been better than this. Yeah, but it's not as like, I mean is this a view of downtown. <laughs> but I wanted like beach vibes. It's so cloudy. And then yeah, it was sunny by me. My plan really backfired. But Meg has like a million friends that play pickleball, so she's calling them to find a new- But no one left me enough to answer. <laughs> she's calling them to find a new court, but if we can't find one through her friends, we might just go to this random one in the Palisades. No one loves me. This is the start of my vlog. Guys, we found an open court. Yeah! I'm so excited. It's gonna be slightly crooked. I got it. Hey guys, I'm back home from Pickleball. Me and Megan went to Erwan after Pickleball and I, I left my camera in the car, but I didn't do an actual introduction to this vlog. I'm doing a weekend in my life. Today is Friday, so happy Friday or whatever. Whenever you're watching this, I just got home, like I said. I'm about to hop in the shower right now. I have two events that I am going to today. I have one with Summer Fridays, kind of in the afternoon, but I wanna get there a little bit early so I can leave a little bit early because I don't wanna get stuck in the major traffic and then Later at night, I'm going to an Armani beauty event, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, I have a leftover burrito from Air One, so I didn't finish it. I get the vegetarian burrito, and I'm just gonna eat this. And then I'm gonna hop in the shower. Mm. Look how cute these flowers are. They're so pretty. They're like lilies and roses. That sack got me the other day. It's been a couple weeks since I picked up the vlog camera. I've recently taken up a hobby in pickleball. Just because I feel like it's like a really good way for me to just like get outside of my house. I can like be inside a lot of the days, most of the week. 
and it's like a good cardio gets my heart rate up i have fun and we played in the palisades this morning so we were right by the beach which was really nice and then i played pickleball i think on tuesday with Alyssa to a court that's closer to us i'm not very good but i am getting better each time i play um sarah and her fiance jackson are coming to california so me and sarah have planned for um her and jackson and me and zach to do like a doubles meet or a little match which hopefully will be fun but sarah plays often so i need to start practicing more so we can be better <laughs> okay i need to hop in the shower hi you guys i am now on my way to my first event of the day it's summer fridays i just got so tired on my drive here i have been driving to west hollywood so much the past couple of days and it's not really that far from me it's just the time that i've been leaving at is like traffic nation um because normally events are like later most of the time events are like later in the day they don't start till like around like six unless it's like a daytime one which today has been and the past couple of events have been so i just end up leaving my house and going back home just kind of in like that chunk of time where there's a lot of traffic between like two and six or three to six something like that so it's just not it just hasn't been as fun but i actually have to film a video at sephora too so i was in my mind i was thinking like maybe i should have skipped this one i've been driving a lot recently but then i actually have to film a video in sephora so i was like yeah i can't i literally have to go i literally have to go so i'm gonna be at the grove hopefully i can get everything done within an hour um just so i can leave and go home and re get ready because i'm not wearing any makeup and hopefully i can fix my hair um for the event later tonight because it's a little bit more fancy um so yeah that's what i'm doing now and I will update you guys once I get to the Grove. This vlog may be all over the place because I have a lot going on. So sometimes when I have a lot going on, I think like, oh, good time to vlog. But then sometimes because I have so much going on, I forget to vlog because I'm like worried about the other things that I have to do. But it should be a good weekend regardless. Tomorrow, I'm going to attract me again with Zach. I haven't taken you guys with me in a while. I honestly haven't been going to that many because my weekend schedule hasn't really aligned with his and it's been raining the past couple of meets. Um, and then it's my cousin Sammy's birthday, so I'm going to her um, place after and we're doing like a little PJ party Sunday. The world is my oyster. We can literally vibe out on Sunday. <laughs> or I might have something to do and I just don't know because I haven't looked at my calendar, but. That is what I have kind of. I'm just gonna talk to you guys from here. That's kind of what the weekend is looking like for me. Um, hopefully, we get some good content in. I love spending the weekend with you guys. I feel like it's fun taking you guys with me. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, just got to the Grove. I instantly, actually, I think I already told you this, but it hit again. I got a wave of tiredness. My body is very sore. I've tried to work out every day this week because. Fun fact, I have actually gained some weight. And even more fun fact, people have noticed and left comments on my TikTok, which is always fun. But um, moral of all that is that I am very sore right now. I just felt it. Um, I can feel the soreness and I really haven't had any caffeine today. So if I have time, maybe I'll grab like a matcha. But it's Friday at the Grove, so that means it's very, very packed. Hello, Hi. Hi. Yes. Right. Well, I so I want you to see the line. Hi. Hi. What was your name? Evelyn. A B E L Y N. I have a bunch of like curated Little. millennial decorated at that. Oh my gosh. Duh. Duh. Obviously. Um, yeah, Queen. My favorite one is the pink one. She has like a pink shirt. So cute. And yeah, it's everything. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna get a little bit of my vlog. This is Manny from Summer Fridays, my actual king. <laughs> You're my vlog. Not the vlog. Doing the vlog. <laughs> Sister's here. She's here. Alyssa's here. She forgot her vlog camera. Summer Fridays. Oh. Summer Fridays. Her. Summer Fridays. Her summer Friday. Um, if you guys have ever been to the Grove, they have like an APL store, which is like uh, athletic shoes. And we are picking out some shoes right now. It's where athletic people live. Really? <laughs> no, like you definitely just made that up. I 
saw someone getting a really cute pair of blue shoes, which I thought would be cute because all my workout shoes are neutral. But it's a little bit busy. Hey, I already knew that. Sorry, can I? I literally. Guys, I'm actually spiraling. As you can see, I'm like getting ready for my next event, but I'm running slightly behind. And the outfit that was sent to me to wear for tonight is literally not the outfit that I picked out. So naturally I am spiraling. But I just got a package from Aritzia, which I'm really excited about because now I am gifted by Ritzia seasonally, so that was pretty major, but I can't remember what I ordered. I can't remember what I ordered, so I'm hoping something in here is like, it's like worthy of tonight because it's cocktail. So I have this midi skirt that I could wear with like possibly a tube top. What is this that I ordered? Oh, I ordered another skirt. That's kind of casual. Oh, this tube top is really cute. Oh, perfect, my battery's dying. Ah, I'm so stressed. Literally, where am I? <laughs> I think I, I think you just I use concealer, brows, mascara, a little bit of freckles, lip. I put like a little bit of powder bronzer on, but second day hair. Now I need to figure out what I want to wear because I don't really know what to wear track meets. I have the craziest outfit on since it's raining. I have to wear my puffer, but this is the only puffer I have. It's like baby pink. Honestly, I love it, but I should have gotten the black one because it just would have matched a lot more because I faced this issue multiple times this winter season where I don't have a black puffer. Um, actually, full fit maybe from Aritzia, this puffer from Aritzia. And then I just got these pants. They're so comfortable. I've been like obsessed with wearing pants like this because they're comfy AF. Also from Aritzia. And then just wearing Sambas. And then I'm wearing like a Frankie's bikini sweater underneath if it gets warmer I could just take off the puffer and wear that but this is the outfit I look insane <laughs> copyrighted by future metro boom okay what are your thoughts going into the meet today um my first thought is hopefully this rain goes away my first thought okay. my second thought is hopefully this rain goes away no like not about the weather I know that's that is that's very, the only thing you're thinking about. It's crucial to the execution. Today. Oh, yeah, I guess. If it's raining, it's cold. You don't run as fast. It's just, it's just science. Um, other than that, 
we've had a long week, long two weeks, with lots of track meets, so I'm hoping that everyone is excited to just show up and run one race, besides the girls are going to be cool, but the guys at least. The guys are only one, running one race? They're just running one race and then they're going home, so it's a very intense, one race. the biggest race that most of them have ever ran in, just from a status-wise of this track team. This is a pretty big track team, so hopefully they are as ready as I think they should be. Okay, that's your pre-me yep. thought. Looking for everybody to run a PR. That's the plan. Okay. First order of business, rain go away. Thank you, coach. You're welcome. <laughs> Looks like lane number five, all the way for now. Go, you got it! Pernell and Naya hold. I'm getting post meat coverage. How do you feel? I'm really tired. <laughs> I feel out of shape. Ray Simpson! Ray Simpson! Go in, Simpson! Go in, Simpson! Very, very close here. Looks like it may be lane two, but it was tight. We'll see if it is Stovell of Damien. No, it's Brady Coffery of St. Francis. Go, Makai. Looks like Makai Freeman of yeah. Damien. Thoughts? And actually, it's Alexander Miller of Muir, 1161. Okay. So Freeman, 1163. Mm -hmm. Coffrey, 1164. Could have been better. I might have to cut that. So those Could've top three separated I don't, by I don't, three no one hundredths of a me. second. But it is if that went in, it's good or it's not. 1161 with the win. Samuel Christopher was fourth. Harvard Westlake at 1206. Better than the last Zion one. Zion Fishkin so. of Monroe at 1209. And Henry Farley, South Pasadena, twelve. Are you going to ask him questions right now? Huh? Are you going to talk to him right now? Makai, you're in my vlog. Hey vlog. How do you feel about your race? Um, I could have went faster, but I felt good. I felt loose. Looks good. I'm okay with the time. <laughs> Just like St. John Bosco got him. He's tied up there. Come on, Maddie, you got it. Keep sprinting, Maddie. Don't ease up. You got her. Keep sprinting. Stay strong. Me too. Hi you guys, back home. Um, we just ordered Chipotle and are watching a little bit of March Madness. Unfortunately, I am partaking in March Madness, but it kind of happened accidentally. Zach's family always sets like a bracket <laughs> and he just like had me do one as a joke and for some reason my bracket is now winning. So I'm slightly invested now because I want to see how this plays out, but it's the update. Okay, update. I just fixed my makeup and I put on pajamas because I'm going to my cousin's pajama party and I just wrapped her gift. I got her a little perfume and then I wrote her a note, but this lighting is very bad. Um, 6.35. I was supposed to be there at 6.30, but I texted them I'm going to be there closer to 7 and then they said, perfect actually. I'm talking to the vlog. Oh, I'm talking about the vlog. You didn't actually even give the vlog your um, recap. <laughs> you don't want my fucking recap. Really? I texted them and I said, I'll be there closer to 7, and they said, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you don't want to give your recap? Um, Come here. Chuck, 
got a puppy. <laughs> you drip unlocked. Um, also, do you mind that you're in the vlog right now? No, <laughs> okay. I don't mind. Um, recap. Can you make it positive though? Sure, I'll put a positive spin on it. Yeah. Given the conditions, given the fact we've had four track meets in the past 14 days. It's been a lot. I'd say they ran admirably. Um, definitely could have gone better. You know, people could show up on time. Yeah, that would probably that be helpful. Helps, yeah. Especially when it's raining and you need to warm up for your race. Mm -hmm. um, but those are just things that you got to learn by being, you know, it's just a part of the job. You got to figure it out on your own. Um, few people ran their fastest times ever, which is always great. We love a standout. Sophia won the whole meet in the Shout hundred. Out Sophia. Got third in the two hundred, so that was nice. Um, yeah, Isaiah got second. Shout out Isaiah for the frost off in the hundred. That was nice. Um, but yeah, I think I recorded that actually. So we'll yeah, see they you need in the vlog. they need some much needed rest though. Um, but yeah, straight back to just gonna be back on our, our grind on Monday. Yeah. You don't you're not working out tomorrow? They're not training tomorrow? No. So some of the girls will, but I'm gonna give them tomorrow off. Thank you, coach. Yeah. You're welcome. At Sammy's birthday now. Sussy's here. I'm carrying this party on my back. Oh my god, we have twins right now. I think we did the picture. This is the birthday girl. Wait, it's not focusing. Hey! Um, do you have anything you want to say for your 25th birthday? Um, follow me on TikTok. Uh, Sammy Sells. What's your TikTok? Sammy I think it is Sammy Sells. Sammy Sells, follow her on TikTok. Probably look like triplets right now. Where's Ken because oh, I had Bree's drink. Um, I drove. Dude, now that I have lashes on, we look alike now. Don't you agree? Oh, perfect. <laughs> they don't ever drive me because they know I'm crazy. <laughs> Dinner is served. Hibachi night. We even have the sauces. Yeah. Yummy. Oh, I forgot. Is Ken gonna sit here? <laughs> Oh, this one is. Oh, oh two, three. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Here's Sammy. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Oh. Yay! Yay! Hello, vlog. Happy Sunday. I am starting the vlog a lot later today. It is already like 1 p.m. and I just semi put on an outfit. I don't really feel I don't really feel that good and I don't look that good but I that's why I put on this hat so I can hopefully cover my face but I'm about to go to Air One right now to pick up a smoothie soup. My dad's calling me. Hello. I'm recording you on my vlog. Are you? Bro, I've never seen so much snow in my life. Like, literally, can you see it? Quick interruption by my dad. He's in Utah right now and oh my god, he's calling me again. Okay. I was like, you Bye. called me twice. I'm sorry, bye. Bye. My dad's first time in Utah and I think seeing snow that much, so he's pretty excited. But I woke up not feeling so good. I went to bed not feeling that good. I think just like this past week has kind of just caught up to me. Um, I don't feel like sick. Like I have like a, like a fever or cold. Like my throat just feels like really scratchy. Like I think I have a sore throat. And then my nose feels not even like stuffy. Like it just like hurts. Like I feel like there's just like a pain like right here. So I may have like a sinus infection. It's mainly my throat that hurts like really bad. So I had a chamomile tea this morning. And then I've just been sitting on the couch. And I haven't had much of an appetite either. Um, so I had just a piece of bread with butter, but I think I need to have something more nutritious in my body So I'm gonna go to air one hopefully get some type of like smoothie. It's like <laughs> That can make me feel better. Um, and I want to get like some type of soup 
And then they always just have like so many like elixirs and stuff like that that I can probably like can try and stuff. But this is what I'm just gonna wear. Um, this is like my favorite cap. It's from Cafe de Lala, which is, which is like a cafe here in LA. And then it's like my favorite sweat set, and it's pink and it's so cute. And then I'm just wearing. And I'm just wearing my hokas because these pants are really long and my hokas are like my tallest shoe. My room is an actual mess. I have piles of clothes everywhere because I don't know where to put them. Here's Zeb. Zebby. All right, she's busy. Um, but yeah, my room is pretty much a disaster. I can't even think about that right now. So let's just go to Air One and uh, I just don't feel, I just like don't feel good. And I hate not feeling good. I hate being sick. I have such an I have like another really long week coming up. So I honestly can't even really afford to like be sick. So I'm just letting myself take this day like super chill. And then tomorrow we start back on the grain. Like my face looks puffy. Like I just look wonky, man. Oh, this is not how I wanted this weekend vlog to end. And I'm not even really doing much today. So. Why is it so freaking washed out? You know what, we'll see. Maybe I'll carry the vlog on till tomorrow because I think tomorrow's the finale of The Bachelor. And, oh wait, but I can't watch it on Mondays. Cause I watch it on Hulu, so I have to wait till Tuesday. I was gonna say I can extend the vlog till Monday cause I think Zach is gonna watch the finale with me. But I forget that I can't watch it on Mondays. All right, Zep, I'll be right back. Your mother's gotta get healthy why is it raining Finding parking like literally right outside Air One. I don't know why I thought to go into the parking garage on a Sunday. I'm literally an idiot. Um, glasses on. Haters gone. Actually, my way of living. In case you guys are wondering. Ugh. Just have like a. I just have like the worst headaches too. Let's go. And I took off my puffer because it was raining right when I left my house, but it's not really raining anymore. Where's the child? Back in the car, I kind of went absolutely insane because I kept seeing I kept seeing things that was like immune elixir, immunity support, and I was like, "Give me, give me, give me!" First, I want to do a smoothie taste test. I got the turmeric crush, turmeric crush. I always said turmeric. I don't know, but I guess it's I don't know. If people say turmeric, but whatever. It looks pretty cool, so let's do a try. Let's do a taste test. Oh my god. If that's not a ginger shot, I don't know what is. I think that's the ingredient that I saw. I was like, oh, ginger, that's like really good to like clear up your sinuses and stuff like that. Wow. I think it's like lemon, turmeric, ginger, orange, pineapple, celery, beets. It's really good, I, but it's like very heavy on the ginger, so I think that'll help. And I got this big thing of chicken noodle soup, but I want to do this shot right now. I don't know if it's like gonna focus. It is the Air One Germ Warfare, number one. Filtered water, lemon juice, collodial silver. I don't even know what that means. Reishi tea, black edelberry, kyolic garlic, what the heck? Grapefruit seed, oregano oil, 
and Astragalus at Echinacea, Echani? I don't even know how to say that, wow. But I do know that um, oregano oil is so, so good for you when you're sick. I actually have oregano oil at my house that I was gonna take later today if I still didn't feel good. Um, my mom put me onto that hack, but I also wanna do a video taste test for TikTok, so I'm gonna do a TikTok and I'm gonna do a YouTube video at the same time. If you're wondering why I look and sound so scary, it's because I have a crazy sore throat. I think I have a little bit of a sinus infection, but thought I would take this shot with you guys. Oh, oh, it smells, it smells so awful. I'm gonna throw up. Oh, that is the worst. That is the worst tasting thing I've ever had. Oh my God. Oh, I have to finish this. It's burning my lip now. Fuck. Mm. Oh. Tears are forming. I wish I, I wish I was being dramatic. I'm not. That tastes like shit. But I know it's gonna work. I know it's gonna work. Don't tell anyone, but I, I still couldn't finish it. I just took off the hat, so now I have a little bit of like a hat mark, but I'm back home. <clears throat> I'm not even kidding, my throat like feels better, like it feels like cleared out. Um. <coughs> oh no. It's Sunday and I washed my hair on Friday and I just feel like my hair already is like crusty, musty, dusty. What's up, Okay, like I, I said in the car, I got a few like random home things. This is one of my favorite chips. Um, it's from the brand Siete. Um, this is the soy, sea salt and vinegar potato chips. It has a hint of serrano, but I don't really taste it. I just like that these are made with avocado oil. They have a lot of, they have a lot of other flavors too, but this is my favorite. They're gluten-free, dairy-free, grain-free, and soy-free, so I don't feel like a complete slob kebab when I eat that entire bag. Then I got a huge tub of chicken noodle soup, which I'm probably gonna have for dinner. Um, and then I got a throat coat. Um, I got this throat coat um, tea, which I'll have before I go to bed. I've been drinking chamomile tea last night, this morning, the mor yesterday morning, but this is specific for the throat, so hopefully that helps. And then the last thing I got is the is this Erwan Immune Elixir. And I'm gonna drink this tomorrow morning because I have a facial tomorrow. I have a facial tomorrow morning at nine, so I'm just gonna take that before I go. And then you guys already know this horrendous juice. I kind of just want to sit on the couch and just like chill out. I'm gonna finish drinking my smoothie, and then a little bit later I'll heat this up for dinner. So this day might not be that interesting. So I'm very sorry. I just edited the video <coughs> that I filmed in the car of me drinking that air one shot and now i'm watching a little bit of march madness jmu versus duke it looks like duke's probably gonna win because they're up by 22 points right now <clears throat> i've never been like super super into sports i feel like i grew up definitely watching basketball and football because i mean i definitely grew up watching basketball and baseball because those are the sports that my dad likes the most and my brother played so i grew up watching it but like i never really like cared too much honest, honestly but my boyfriend is like super into sports and I wouldn't say like I'm like super into sports now but I feel like I just probably know a little bit more now because he talks about it but um I'm watching March Madness because he made he makes like a bracket every year for March Madness and I don't know if it was a joke honestly I still don't know but he like made me make a bracket with him he had two brackets so i got to make one of them and i thought like he was just gonna like fix it when he went home but he kept it and my brackets winning um in his family's like march madness thing so i'm slightly invested now because i want to see how i do i really didn't pick off any basketball knowledge i kind of just went with vibes um and i guess it's like a meme that girls pick Mar their March Madness brackets like based off like vibes or like colors or like how cute the players are and they always end up doing better than their boyfriends but 
I'm slightly invested now because I'm in first place. <laughs> so I'm watching a little bit of that, but I got really tired. I don't know why I slept in a lot. I slept a lot this week, honestly. Like I didn't, it's not like I'm behind on sleep, but I just feel really, really tired and really, really drained. But I don't know what it is. I like Sundays and I like being alone, but kind of days where I'm gonna be chilling at home, I get bored. <laughs> Uh, when I'm chilling at home by myself, I get bored and I'm just like, can somebody come hang out with me? Okay. I'll update you guys when there's another update. Still don't feel very good. Um, actually, I started putting this on the tripod. Okay. I started to feel a little bit better after I had the, sh like, the little juice shot and my smoothie. And then I laid down, I didn't actually fall asleep, but now I have like a really, really bad headache. Ugh. Though it doesn't feel like a scratchy, but I do feel like it's like phlegmy, Ew, if that makes sense. But I'm gonna make my soup now. I don't know if I should like heat this up on like the stove, but I don't really feel like doing that. So I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave. Ugh. The chicken honestly looks like great quality. And for some reason too, like this part of my face is now like really red. It kind of looks like I have a rash. And this side is like not like, I feel like it doesn't look that bad, but just in comparison to the side, it's like no rash. This side, I'm like red. Loving this for me. Hey, chicken noodle soup. Um, I don't know if this is weird or if this is the Mexican in me, but every time my mom made like caldo or caldo de boyo or honestly anytime anytime my mom makes soup um she always put lime in it and i just think the soup tastes better with lime so i'm putting a little bit of lime in my chicken noodle soup again that may just be like a mexican thing or that may just be a my mom thing my mom's chicken soup she put potatoes in it i don't know why it tastes so good My chicken is really good. It's definitely not as flavorful as my mom's. <laughs> I think that's just like all mom's cooking is just better. And now I'm watching One Tree Hill. Time for some tea. I got this throat coat tea from air warm earlier this is the end of my night hopefully i wake up feeling reborn feeling better going to drink my tea it smells really weird but i also i have been taking these lenny sleep gummies all week i think i got them a week ago and honestly they're crazy in a good way um i'm all, i'm someone that's always had an issue with, like falling asleep staying asleep um i do have some pretty weird dreams i'm not gonna lie but i don't remember them like i will wake up and be like i'll wake up and be like that dream was really weird but then like i couldn't tell you what it was about so can't be so it's just whatever, but they really help me sleep through the night. They help me fall asleep. I think the my problem has always just been like falling asleep. Like I will just be awake and my mind will just not stop going. So these have really, really helped with falling asleep. Okay, my camera's gonna die. Good night. Trust the camera. I'll see you tomorrow.